Is that an octopus? Oh, octopus! It is, right below lasers. Yes, all the other <laughs> octopus! <laughs> <laughs> We're <laughs> carrying on cephalopod Sunday into Monday. We're just extending with cephalopod week. Yeah, having our own cephalopod week since we didn't have any last week. Oh, look at those, like, horn-like structures. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going to put his little, his arm under his chin there, give us a nice little pose. Can we get lasers uh, briefly, please? Okay. Well, We're just on the way out. Yeah, just at some point. I believe Mike Vecchione had signed off, but he um, had helped us identify an octopus yesterday. Don't believe this is the same one. Uh, no, I don't remember the one yesterday having those horns. Right. But they are so wonderful to watch as they move along the seafloor. They really are. Yeah, it does look a little warty, so maybe mm -hmm. it's a similar in the similar family of octopus, but has a much more red, peachish color. Mm -hmm. And those little horns on the top. <laughs> He's like, dang, Monday. <laughs> Yeah. It's a great shot. That really is. So it looks like its suckers are all in one row, straight row, when Mike was talking to us yesterday. Um, how you can, you yeah, know, that's part of the identification is whether it has like one or two rows of suckers. I like how the tentacles are now kind of curled up mm -hmm. in the front. I mean, it definitely l looks uh, like Hello? it's sleepy. Hello, Okeanos. Hi, Mike. Hello. Hey, I, I'm on a train right now. So I might <laughs> lose you. But I was watching along on my cell phone and saw the Oxpod. Great. And, uh, I think you're right. I think it may not be the same thing as yesterday, the uh, uh, tetracholemony. I mean, it, it, yesterday was... Uh, Granolidomy. I, I think this might be a tetracholidomy. Okay. So what we need to do is is send it to the, the student at the uh, uh, University of Southwest Louisiana who's working on these things because so, she uh, she's getting better at this than I am <laughs> identifying these uh, these two octopods. So if Scott is on the, the line, uh, tell him to to get a frame grab and send it to her. Great. It might be a tetracholidomy anyway. Okay, thanks for... Tetracholidomy, tetracerus. Uh, the, and the tetracerus in the uh, in the species name refers to the the, the sort of horn-like cirri that are over the eye. There's two over each eye, which means four cirri, so tetracerus. Okay. And so, Mike, I don't know anything about cephalopods, do they sleep? I mean, because this one's sitting here very still with its eyes closed. 
I think it's likely um, squinting because the, we're... The pupils are shut down because of the bright light. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so they've, their pupils retract like ours do. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think it's asleep. I think it goes really well <laughs> with the mechanical monster in front of it staring at it. <laughs> right. Well, thanks, Mike, and uh, we hope you get wherever you're going on your train safe. It's my commute, but I heard somebody ask about suckers. Yes. Uh, both this and the one we, I was talking about yesterday have a single series of suckers on the arms. But, again, if the arms are contracted, it makes that series look like a zigzag. So it makes it look like there's two series. But this only had a single series. I'm not sure who was asking. Oh, yeah, that's. I was just making that observation that it did look like it only had a single row. Right. But both of those genera uh, have that characteristic. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to hang up now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.